Welcome! In this Mathematica tutorial, I'm going to show you how I do a volume of rotation animation using Mathematica. And the purpose of this is to animate a YouTube short I'll make. Volume of rotation, here's how I do it. Okay, so let's get started. So what I have copied out of the help file are three commands uh, for plotting things. So the first one is parametric plot 3D. And so let's just run this. Okay, and so you can see it makes kind of a knot, but I, I've given it thickness for the purpose of 3D printing that knot. All right, so let, now let's change that because what I want to animate is a volume of rotation plot rotated about the x-axis. Okay, and so let's draw a picture of that. So there's the x-axis. There's the y-axis. And then let's draw y equals x squared. It might look something like this. And the idea is in volume of rotation, you want to spin this around the x-axis so that it forms a volume. But we want to plot this in 3D. So we need another axis. Okay, and so we'll spin this around. Now, how do we do this in Mathematica? So this is what we will form, this bowl. But I want to actually show this curve spinning around in an animation. So what I need to do is find a way to plot this in a parametric plot, much like what you see on the left. So first we have, in parametric form, the equation y equals x squared would look something like t zero and t squared, where t is a parameter. Something like that. And so what I want to do is now view this as a vector and rotate this using a rotation matrix. So I'll have a three by three rotation matrix. And then I will use the 3D rotation matrix one, zero, zero, zero cause of say angle A minus sine of angle A, zero, sine of angle A, cause of angle A. Okay, so if we take the product of this, then what we get is, and then the last row times this would give us cause of A times T squared. Okay, and so then viewed back as a point, then the point would be the point t minus t squared sine of a and t squared cos of a. All right, so let's take this over to Mathematica now. And I'm going to replace these coordinates here with what we've written down. So t minus t squared sine of a and t squared cos of a, right? But I need a to be given outside. So let's do that. Above that parametric plot, let's just give a a value. a is 2.0, say. And now let's try that. Okay, so this looks about right. And if I change this to three, it will have rotated that. 
So great, I'm happy with that part of it. And now we can animate over A. Okay, so let's suppress this for now and let's move on to our next one. So the animation part. So I've just copied this out of the help file. And so let's press the button to animate this. So we're just animating X plus sine of A. Sorry, sine of X plus A. As A goes from zero to five. And so you see this wave moving uh, right to left. So what we want to do is animate this parametric plot that we have. And so let's take out this plot part and I will replace it with this. And then above that, let's clear the value of A. So clear all A. Okay, now let's try this. Well, it gives me null. And why is that? Well, probably because I've suppressed the output of that. Okay, so let's try this again. Yeah, that looks about right. Although um, the problem here is that I don't have some fixed points of reference in this. And so it's sort of changing the shape of the box, which I don't really want. Now, one way around that is to choose eight points uh, in fixed positions and plot those as well. But before we do that, uh, let's move on to the next part of the process, which is to plot a sort of translucent volume within this. Okay. So let's move on to region plot. And I think we're going to have to fix things because this doesn't quite look right to me. It looks like it's on the wrong axis. Okay, so region plot 3D. All right, so here we're plotting a region on the back in blue of this surface. But what we want to do here is change this region to plotting a region um, associated with this curve. Right. And, but we want to do this in 3d. So that would be y squared plus z squared is less than x. And now we want to do this as x goes from say minus one to three. So let's just try this here. Okay. So this is about what we want. And I want to add some options to this. So let's go plot style, arrow. Okay, now I want to put directive, square brackets. Let's change the color to say yellow. And let's say uh, opacity 0.5. See what this does. Now, I don't really want the grid there or the mesh. So let's put, I think it's mesh false. Okay, there we go. So this looks about like what I want. So now let's put the pieces together. Okay, so I'll copy this up into here. And then I want to label these. I'll just call this one uppercase A. And then I want to show together this parametric plot in the same plot as the animation. Put comma A. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so this, yeah, but you can see what's happening. I've got the wrong animation.
Okay, I see. So what I've done is I've changed the T squared there to the square root of T so that it rotates around the correct way. And same thing here. And I've changed the plot range from zero to three to match up with the region plot and then changed um, A from minus pi on two to two pi. Okay, so let's run this. And you can see this spins around the right way. And I'm fairly happy with that. Although I think I want to change some colors. So let's attempt to change the colors here. So let's go with orange in the region plot. All right, and then let's leave this as blue. I think blue and orange go together pretty well. And then for my short, I'm just going to put it up here and, and just play this. But I want it to go for a minute or so. So I think I need to change this to get a few more multiples of 2 pi. So let's just put like, whoa, 24 pi. but you see that just makes it go too quickly. Okay, so let's stick with two pi so it goes slowly, and then I'll just have to loop it around. Volume of rotation, here's how I do it. We have a function, y equals the square root of x, for example, and what we wanna do is spin this around the x-axis, much like what you see in the animation above, so that it forms a region or like a bowl shape. And we want to calculate the volume of that. And so we use this formula. So in this case, we have the volume equals from zero to two integrated of pi times the radius squared, but the radius is the square root of x. So the square root of x all squared integrated with respect to x. Now we need to simplify this. So let's pull the pi out. Let's square that. So we have x when we square the square root of x. And now we need to integrate There's a half of 2 squared minus a half of 0 squared. 4 over 2 is 2 times pi is 2 pi, and we're done. 